G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Flashlight Crazy. Today my pocket carry is an HDS Systems Light. This is the uh, EDC Tactical. One of the best lights I've ever owned. Arguably one of the most perfect lights. Uh, I'm not gonna go into much more detail about that now. This will be on the channel soon. But the HDS EDC Tactical to me is uh, borderline the perfect light. All right, moving on. Today we are reviewing the Wuben X2 in the micro arc anodization. Let's check it out. All right, here it is. I'll just uh, put the light and the diffuser over here and we'll check the box. And there's some of the really cool information there if you just wanna pause it. And I'll move on. First off is this really cool, oh, I'll just, yeah. First off is this really cool lanyard. Uh, so this this is a, I think it's a Wuben exclusive lanyard. I don't think I've seen other companies do a lanyard like this. And what's so cool about this lanyard is obviously it's a lanyard and you can literally tie your Wuben light to the lanyard. And what you can do is it's actually a charger. How cool is that? So this end goes into the outlet, into the wall. And this end, if you just lift up the uh, the button, I, I, oh, it's not the button, that's the actual button, but if you, there it is, there's the button. But this is kind of like the button protector that you actually push. And if you, and if you lift this up, then you charge it in there. See that? Now, that's not very, hmm. I'll use the words, uh, no, it's not very safe. I'll, I'll use the word safe. It's not very safe, as in, you know, very easy for water to get in there. Very, very easy. But, you know, this isn't a, a light that is, you know, designed to be used in high levels of water. So for that reason, uh, it's not the end of the world. I'm just putting it out there just to say, you know, be careful. But that's really cool, this lanyard. So, and then, clink, sticks back in there like that. Very nice and strong. Nice and sturdy lanyard, and it's even got uh, some measurements on it just for a laugh, you know, in centimeters it looks like, which is pretty cool. Now you will get your Wuben diffuser, red diffuser. So if I just put that over the top there, and let's get it nice and high. So look at that. How's that for a nighttime light, you know, um, just sitting on there in a tent, you know, that's really, really cool. That's, that's really, really cool. I'm a big fan of this uh, Wuben red diffuser. And lastly, your X2 manual. So look at all the different uh, uh, languages it comes out in, just incredible. We will probably wanna focus on English, uh, which is I think the first little bit. So just your operation, all the uh, certain, certain things you can do, strobe, SOS, turbo, yep, low, medium and high, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and then the specs, which is on the box anyway. Oh yeah, so uh, when you're charging it, red means charging, blue means fully charged, and then blue means above 90%, uh, blue for five seconds means in between a nine and 40%, red, you know, all the rest of it. If it's not blue, then you know, you, you're no good. Uh, put it that way. All right, now, one thing about this pocket clip, you can unscrew it here, okay? So you unscrew, the, the clip there, if you don't like it, you cannot screw it back onto this side, so it's only a one-sided pocket clip, but it is nice to have that option to remove it if you don't want it. As far as the clip goes, really perfect, man. Nice and sturdy, nice and fat or thick, and just great, great pocket experiencing, pocket experience this, pocketing experience, yep. Yeah. Great pocketing experience this is. Now, there are the emitters down there, down, uh, it's kind of like one reflector, but it also looks like three kind of. Uh, I believe they are the Samsung uh, LH351Ds. So you'll get really high color rendering in, in these guys, okay? And uh, I'm a big fan of the Samsungs. I think they're awesome. And I think that for color rendering, they're fantastic. For EDC lights, they're fantastic. So that, I'm a big fan of them. I, I know some people don't really like the tint of them very much. Uh, it doesn't bother me, the tint. That, that slight green tint does not bother me at all. Now, ergonomics of this light are really pretty awesome, to be honest. Like you, your thumb hits the button very, very easily. Um, it's very comfortable. Once you pull it out of your pocket, your thumb's there, ready to go. 
and it is, uh, it's not too heavy, not too light. It's kind of a, a, a really good size and a really good weight. And this is in the, I think that's micro arc anodization, uh, but you can get, you know, different materials and, you know, things like copper and brass are obviously going to be a lot heavier, but I think this, this is perfect. It's in fact, let's weigh it. It's not, it's really not, not that heavy at all. Uh, I'm a big fan of this weight, whatever it is, but let's find out now. So we do have 119.88 grams, not too bad. Now, one thing as well is that when you click it on, it comes on in the last output you were in. Let's just see if it does that with turbo, off, on. No, it does not. It comes on in, in the output before turbo. Now from off, single click, it comes on in your lowest output, which is five lumens. You get that for 80 hours. Then press and hold. You've got medium mode, that's 100 lumens for 10 hours. Press and hold, high mode, 400 lumens for two and a half hours. Now watch this, press and hold, back down to low. Low, medium, high, low, medium, high. All of these have memory. Okay, I'll just get you to medium, high. So all of these have memory. If you want turbo, double click. For the Samsung LEDs, that is 1800 lumens, which you get for a minute. Then it drops down to 800 lumens, which you get for an hour. About 128 meters of throw with the Samsungs, although you'll see in the night shots, it's probably not gonna get that far, but it's still pretty good for, for the turbo. Now, turn it off. As I showed you before, no memory for turbo. But if you want strobe or SOS, triple click for strobe. Triple click again from strobe to SOS. Strobe is 1,000 lumens, SOS is 200 lumens. Reason why SOS is 200 lumens is, oh, single click back to where you started and then single click to off. Reason why SOS is uh, 200 lumens is so that it lasts longer because you want SOS to last longer, of course. Now, once you click the light on, if you lift this up, that is your battery level indicator just there. So as it, as it showed you before, so just click it off, click it back on. It's a terrible LED. But uh, there it is there, it's, sh it's showing blue and then it turned off, which means the battery is good to go, as I showed you before. Great light that has tail standing as well, so it obviously can be used for all sorts of different applications. It is a IP68 rated light, which means it's going to get uh, two meters water submersible for roughly an hour before you know water will probably start to seep in, in places. Uh, but it looks like a bit of a tank, doesn't it? You know, it's... it's um, screwed together really, really well, in my opinion. There's just little screws everywhere that have uh, secured this thing. I do wish that the charging port was a little bit more, I don't know, secure. I wish maybe at least put a rubber flap over that or something like that, because if you use this in dirt and things like that, it's gonna get in there, it really will. And and the thing is, this is a built-in battery. So if you, if that charging port stuffs up somehow, there goes your light. You're also gonna get one meter drop resistance, which is a surprise to me. I thought this would have a, a higher drop resistance seeing as it looks and feels like an absolute beast. Now again, that diffuser is just superb. It's probably one of my favorite things about this light. Um, single click gets it, or not single click, single click gets it to whatever you're in. But if I want um, the best output for this, it's medium. And you know, like if I just turn this light off for a second, look at that. That is just such a nice light to have, uh, you know, next to your bed or something like that if you just want to kind of set the mood a little bit. Uh, so that's probably my favorite thing about this is, is the diffuser. Really thick, thick, you know, rubber type material that, is, you know, does not seem like it's going to melt or anything like that. Uh, and that would be great for a tent as well. Just brilliant for a tent. All right, well, we may as well go outside now, see how this thing does at night time, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts and prices and where to buy the Wuben X2. See you in a sec. All right, the Wubin X2, single click turns it on, press and hold cycles. Double click turbo. Weird beam pattern, isn't it? But that's because of the shape of it. Still very useful though. God, look at that, so useful. God. Coming out of that. Got a great peripheral of light. See? Great peripheral. Not crazy amount of throw, but geez, enough for EDC. And it's not too heavy as well. Strobe, triple click. Double click back to turbo. 
single click off, single click on, no turbo memory, press and hold, cycle low, medium and high, double click back to turbo. Really cool. All right, see ya. All right, so great, great beam, great. I mean, the beam is maybe not gonna be for some people because uh, it is that long, thin beam. But to me, it, it doesn't worry me, you know? So if you just uh, double click there and see how it's that long kind of horizontal beam and if you turn it, it becomes vertical, you know? That doesn't bother me because as you saw in the night shots, it, it, it actually looks pretty cool in my opinion, but it lights up everything really, really well and you've got some fantastic uh, uh, CRI in, in these emitters. Now at lightshop.com.au, it's coming in at about 150 bucks. Uh, I will put a discount code in as well for you. All you gotta do is click on that link and head over there and you can choose, uh, I think from, from four different kinds. There's like a black one, a couple other colors, and this one, the micro arc anodization. Uh, so I'll link it in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. And until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.